All right, guys. I got a little surprise for you guys. I cleared off my desk, took off the two dioramas that were on there. Um, I ended up setting up the Tomorama parking lot, but I decided that that was going to be a better display somewhere else. Um, so I ended up um, deciding that I'm going to set up this guy here. Yes, yes, it looks amazing. So basically, it's like a mini Hong Kong. Um, it's 164 scale, if you guys can see down there. So I'm going to set this thing up. Um, and this is where I usually, the spot here is where I usually do all my opening of uh, die cast. So I like to have a nice display. And I like to change it up once in a while. So I figured this is a, this would be a good time to do this one. And, you know, I obviously just started this channel, so... Um, this particular diorama, I, I haven't seen too many people use it. Um, the other, uh, Tomorama parking lot thing was pretty popular. I've seen a few, uh, of the few, um, YouTubers that I follow for diecast, uh, use it. So, yeah, I figured I'd put this thing together, um, do a little review on it too as well. It looks pretty sick. Um, here, let me show you guys around the box it's a pretty straightforward box this is a sleeve over a box but you guys can see you guys can get other buildings and stuff like that i did look them up on youtube so they have this crazy video of this crazy city and the the middle is spinning around i guess to kind of show all the sides of the buildings anyways this is 164 scale so this street here is you know 164 scale and then this parking lot here that's pretty cool so Really looking forward to setting this thing up. So I figured I'm going to set it up in front of you guys. Uh, I'll do my best anyways. And, um, and we'll see how this goes. Alright, let's open this guy up. So I think you just slide this sleeve off. There we go. It's, uh, it's very tight. And I'm at a weird angle because uh, I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. So just in case you want to buy this. Um, it's not that cheap, but we'll see um, if it's worth the money or not in a second. Once we actually get the sleeve off. Show you guys what's in there. Bunch of stickers. All right, we'll take them out slowly here. So these are all the stickers. It looks like this could be the instruction manual in there. Check it out in a second. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we got first bag. Bags of little parts. Wow, okay. This is uh this might be a little harder than I thought. A couple more little parts put all the little parts over in one spot more little parts wow this is uh this might take a while guys you guys will have the magic of uh of youtube and i have all this fast forwarded but I'll show you guys what it comes with so this box is empty baggie of more more stuff this looks like uh, the road so we'll put that there a couple of the buildings here here's one of the buildings okay okay so I guess that stuff just snaps on in the bags to detail the buildings with we'll the we'll put this one building over the side here and then uh, we have another building I don't know maybe it's not too hard so we got the two buildings there. All right, check it out, guys. These are all stickers too, so you can make your storefront. Damn, that's like straight up Chinatown. You guys, you guys don't know, but I am Asian, uh, and legit, that looks like Chinatown. 
All right. I mean, like, you don't have to be Asian to know what Chinatown looks like. Obviously, you can take a walk down there if you like, but... All right. Wow. I suck at sticking on stuff, so... Um, that might be another video. I'm not gonna go all out, go all out and start sticking all these stickers on too, um, unless I, I need to. But then this video is gonna be like a three-parter. <laughs> wow. All right, I don't see any instructions yet. Oh, here we go. All right, there's the instructions of how to put the buildings together when they're pretty much all already put together. But okay. Here we go. Okay, there you go. The instructions of the streets. Okay. We're gonna need that in a second. Let's keep looking at all the stuff that's in the bag. This looks like a parking lot. Looks like a little patch of grass or something. Um a gate some sort and some signs okay looks like there's a lot of stickers that we need to be sticking all right let's uh follow please follow the diagram to assemble the street parts all right so this is uh yeah so it looks like um this is exactly the pieces and exactly the way they want you to do it. And once you push them all together, it should look like that. All right, well, we won't be sticking the stickers on, we'll just be putting it all together. And then we put the building on. All right, cool, let's, uh, let's do that. Here we go. Alright, so, let's start with the big piece in the corner here, this big long piece. Now, I'm going to leave this here. I'm just going to start putting it together. I'm not going to try to, like, talk too much. Uh, but, yeah, once I get all the stickers down, that's basically what it's going to look like. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. Um, you guys get the basic idea. Uh, let's put a let's put a couple of JDM cars on there, eh? So put them on the street here. Put the one in the parking lot. Right, that's the entrance. Oh, Yeah, it's going to be looking pretty cool. Um, once I get the, the street lights, the signs, the stickers, um, all the advertisements and stuff on the, on the, on the buildings here, you know, even a little clothesline up there, all that stuff. It's going to look pretty cool. All right, guys, a quick update. Um, before I finish her up, I put it all together, a little post, I slid in all the windows, added all the little extra bits. Actually looks pretty cool. I was a little bit doubtful at first. It, it felt kind of cheap coming together, but once everything came together, uh, and you understood how everything was held together, it's not bad. Uh, it's definitely not a kid-friendly uh, diorama so I definitely wouldn't recommend that but uh, we're gonna be sticking these stickers on there and then the city's gonna come to life but uh, yeah it looks pretty cool already Give you guys a quick I like uh, how three-dimensional it is so that's pretty sweet I love all the little ACs too you can see on the sides there anyways just a quick uh, Walk through and then we'll be right back with the with the stickers on there. Alright, here it is, the finished product. Uh well as far as I want to finish it. You can definitely see they have uh the street um more street stuff. 
I'm debating on it. I just don't want to screw up and, you know, I don't know, I look like shit. But uh, as far as I've gone so far, uh, I put a couple other stickers on the signs and stuff like that. That was already a pain in the ass. I'm not a really skilled person like that. So, but I did the best I could. I like that old school blockbuster sign. Obviously that shit don't exist no more. That's cool though. And I put a little toy store down there. You had a couple of different options of different uh, signage you can put on. And obviously you can do your own. I, I pretty much went with the theme on here. Like in regards to like uh, this laundry hanging and blankets and stuff like that. I, I, t I, t I did the ones that were available. But there was other ones too. Top here you got a... Uh, looks like a couple antennas. Both the roofs have the same thing. You can you can do a clothesline right there. I just chose uh, not to. Not yet, anyways. But uh, a couple chairs, table. Very three dimensional. You can see a couple AC units right there. It's obviously super three dimensional because it is. So it's really crazy because it kind of feels like you're actually on top of a building. And you can see behind the building too. Not too much detail, but you're not going to be looking at that side too much. This side, again, a couple AC units. Now, at first putting, putting this thing together, it was kind of weird because, like, I had never put anything together that was anything like this. It felt really cheap at first, but once you get it all together, it makes sense. And it's, like, brilliant how they bring everything together, but... Uh, it's definitely, <clears throat> it's definitely not a toy. Like I wouldn't recommend this for anybody young. Uh, it says fourteen plus. So I definitely believe that. Yeah, it'd be a pretty mature fourteen year old too. To be honest with you, <laughs> I was just joking. Fourteen is fine, probably. I'm just old. All right, so we're over here. We can check out my uh, Tomoka Limited Vintage Honda Civic. EG. And my Tomoka Limited Vintage EK Type R in the back there. Pretty cool. I got a little girl, little lady right there in the back. Probably waiting to be picked up. So she can go to the library and study, of course. Anyways, what do you guys think? Should I put in those lines? Try it. These lines right here, there's, look, it looks it looks a little bit more realistic. I don't think it looks too bad right now. And honestly, I don't want to screw up, so. What do you guys think? You guys like it? A little detail. Sorry, I wish my camera focused more. There you go. It's pretty cool. All these little details here. You guys can see. Pretty sweet little door on the side there. Yeah, I like it. All right, guys, this video is probably super long, so thanks for following along. See you guys next time. Peace.